Uh, Ashish, yes. uh, thank you uh, for your time. And uh, uh, the first question is uh, about your uh, personal experience. Just a quick flashback. Why are you uh, here? Why uh, you decide to join the OpenStack community? Sure, Ilya. Thank you. And thank you for uh, having a chat with me. So my name is Ashish. I represent Avi Networks as a company. Um, for my vision, and I'll talk about company later, my vision is I want to see um, OpenStack as a community be successful in enterprises, not just stay limited to uh, developers, but have uh, companies, enterprises, cloud providers actually build enterprise-grade clouds, uh, migrate business critical applications to such an environment. And so I'm really happy here to see that from last summit in Paris, to here in Vancouver, we have made tremendous progress. We have lots of customers, lots of enterprises who are using OpenStack um, in enterprise production environment. It has things that move from just being a project in the lab to actual deployments in a production environment, which is very important for me personally. Um, so that's why I'm really happy um, the kind of progress OpenStack has made. Uh, this is the uh, middle of the uh, summit in Vancouver, so uh, what was the uh, most important thing that uh, you find out uh, uh, in these three days and uh, what did you expect for the next day? Sure, yes. Yeah. So I think, again, I've been extremely happy with um, the experience people have already had with OpenStack. So again, uh, what we saw last year was people were still experimenting or just uh, playing with it, now people actually have deployed it and they're red sharing their experiences. So it's no longer just a project, a pilot project, it's it's a real environment. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, in the last three days I've seen that. I'm, there is no real, there is no more uh, need to say that, well, is OpenStack going to be successful? No, it's not if, it already is. And it just has to catch more and more um, traction. Now, is there an exact um, session or person that uh, impressed you? Let's start with Walmart, for example. The um, Walmart has emerged as the largest OpenStack distribution uh, product uh, environment, and um, I think they are setting an example for the rest of the enterprises. So I guess that if you have to single out one thing, it's I think it's Walmart's so deployment. Uh, so we have six months That's right. uh, before the next meeting, before the next summit in the, uh, in Tokyo. Um, no, what? are your expectations to the Tokyo? I, my expectations are frankly that there are 10 times more Walmarts uh, at Tokyo. 10 times? <laughs> more in the count. In the, not at that size, but at yeah, least yeah. there are people who are there which is, yep, we've done that, yep, we do that, yep, we do that, that kind of thing, where it's not a novelty anymore, that it should be a given. Uh, that, yep, we are, have there, uh, are there any expectations from the uh, technological perspective, not from the uh, uh, clients, not from the uh, revenues, but from the technological point of view? Technological point of view, I think, um, I think the stability is getting better and better. So hopefully that's not even a question in Tokyo. So that's one expectation that people don't even question that is open site going to be stable or to have uh, uh, which version should I mean and so on. So that's one expectation for technology point of view. Uh, other is I think the speed of new features or new capabilities coming in should I think increase in, especially at the production grade level because if you have more contributors, more uh, people, more companies participating, I'm hoping that we get uh, and we can increase the velocity of uh, uh, enterprise grade features. Is there any concrete technology you, uh, you're dreaming about right now and you wish to uh, find it in Tokyo? Okay, futuristic. Yeah. I see. Um, I haven't thought about that. So I was hoping that whatever we have on the fringe becomes mainstream. One thing is the application architectures are becoming more microservices based. So if you're familiar with microservices, where big monolithic applications are getting broken down into smaller components, I'd like to see that technology again mainstream uh, by the time Tokyo comes out. Again, people talk about that today, but not many applications are there yet. So I'm hoping that that becomes again mainstream. Because that poses a set of challenges for the rest of the technology ecosystem to catch up with that. So, yeah, so that's definitely right.